Rather large, welcome back to Kosi's Arsenal Podcast. My name is Kosi. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in all parts of the world. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. We're going to be diving into the latest around Arsenal. This morning, we have some big updates on the Declan Rice story. According to Fabrizio Romano, Arsenal are leading Bayern in the race to sign Declan Rice. He wants to stay in London. And according to CBS Sports, they're saying that Arsenal will now formalize their offer after the UEFA Conference League final yesterday was completed with Declan Rice of course leading you know West Ham to the first ever major trophy in Europe ever since Bobby Bobby Moore did it as a captain in 1966 Arsenal could be getting their man finally but of course we're going to be diving into the other stories Thomas Partey uh, is not having any contract offers from Arsenal and he could be leaving the club this summer however what I've seen according to James Bank of from CBS uh, Thomas Partey would love to stay at Arsenal but we do not understand and i don't know why the contract is not coming is thomas Partey um on his way out of arsenal we'll be talking about that as well and of course today again eduardo hagen confirming that arsenal do have strong interest in kai havers there is no contact between arsenal and chelsea but there is contact between arsenal and Kai Havertz representatives. Arsenal are big admirers of Kai Havertz from Chelsea and a deal could happen this summer. So hit the like button for me, subscribe to the podcast as well. Let's get this video to 500 likes. I want your thoughts on two players here. One is Thomas Partey. He's had quite a very mixed season. I think he started off very well. That This last season has been his most consistent season in an Arsenal jersey. Three years down the road, I think we still have more to get from Thomas Partey. Those, that £45 million, pounds, for me, I think there is a player in there. There is a more consistent player in there. There is um, a, you know, one of the best defensive midfielders in the Premier League in Thomas Partey. So how are we feeling about Partey? Do we let him go because of the inconsistencies and the injuries? And then we sign a more consistent player like Moises Caicedo. I think that's what Miklata is looking at. Or do we just add another player do we sign Caicedo on top of uh, you know Thomas Partey his contract has two more years um to go so if Arsenal don't extend it this uh, this year next year he will have one year to go and that might be a little bit of a problem but what do you think about Thomas Partey does he deserve another chance or should Arsenal move on already and what are your thoughts on Kai Havers from Chelsea he's been a major major problem uh for evaluation I think uh, as a player, I think there are a few times where you feel like there is a player in there in the UEFA, UEFA, UEFA Champions final when they won it against Manchester City. No one expected them to do that, but he scored the winner. And the fact that he did, the fact that he, he won them the UCL just puts him among the... Maybe not club legends, but players that you're not even going to forget. They only have two UEFA Champions Finals. One that won, that was won by Didier Drogba and the other by Kai Havers. So, uh, Kai Havers to Arsenal. How are we feeling about that one? Let me know. Now, let's get into it. Yesterday, Declan Rice played his last game, potentially his last game for uh, West Ham. And they did win the UEFA Conference League. There was a little bit of, uh, you know, of shady uh, business, the penalty and how they, they, they nicked the, the, the goal um, at the end. But that is the beauty of European football. That's, that is the beauty of football, right? The jeopardy, uh, the, late, the, the late minute goals and all that. That is when and that is how uh, you enjoy football. So Rice played in that game. He didn't actually put in a very good performance. It, it, for me, it seemed like he was one of the you know, underperformers on the evening. But that doesn't matter. He was captain. And after 41 years, West Ham have now won a major trophy in Europe. Of course, Arsenal, look, West Ham last won a major trophy. That was... Um, that was the UEFA Cup Winners' Cup in 1966 under Bobby Moore as captain. Arsenal last won theirs, UEFA Cup, you know, Cup Winners' Cup in 1995. So uh, the gap between the gap between trophies is not very much. It's not very big if we can win one very very soon. Uh, but I think the big news yesterday, and uh, Declan Rice was talking about it in his you know post match interview, was now the Conference League final is over. Will Arsenal finally get their man? He was asked about, um, you know, what's going to happen with his future. And he said, right now, I shall have a contract with West Ham. It's two more years to go. Um, I love the club. I'm the captain. But you can't forget and you can't uh, write away the speculation. 
let's wait uh, let, let's wait and see what's gonna happen now look I, again he doesn't rule out the fact that he's gonna move this summer he doesn't rule out the fact that um a deal is gonna happen he just wants those West Ham fans on the evening to enjoy um you know their evening more and more i mean it would have been very very uh kind of you know suicide for him to go um yeah it's over and now i'm leaving right i, I don't think he would have said that as a captain he wouldn't have said that so yesterday declan declan again you know, reinforced the fact that he still has two more years and that means the arsenal will have to pay more money uh big big money to sign him but um the stumbling block is over the stumbling block is done as reported by all sources arsenal are now ready to bid for declan rice um officially and I, of course yesterday uh, yesterday um cbs sports james bank wrote a very very comprehensive story uh around this story um and he said according to uh, you know said uh, you know at the moment uh arsenal are set to formalize their pursuit for declan rice in the coming days with the Gunners confident that the west ham captain will pick them in the race for his signature rice played what is likely to be his final game uh in west ham colors on wednesday in the europa league final um a 2-1 win for the hammers that meant uh that the 24 year old was the first of um was the first of the irons captain to lift a major trophy in 43 years okay arsenal expected to open talks with west ham in the coming days but their initial offer is expected to fall short of 100 million pounds um which is the minimum price that the hammers are actually asking for Mikel at side are confident that their top target rice is keen on the move indeed sources close to the deal indicate that um a move across london is currently viewed um uh, by the england international as his favorite option with a young family keen to settle down in the capital cbs sports um first revealed in january that rice was keen on the move to the emirates stadium and the admiration has not cooled down from either party since then so that is cbs sports um and jumps bank beautiful story you can give it a nice read uh um it's a very very nice story right um so i, I think what we got we've got to do right now is move very very quickly Bayern's finances are still to be decided okay they need to sort out their internal mess especially at uh, at board level and do that and by the time they get their feet into the ground Arsenal should have done a lot of work uh, on this deal probably it the deal should have been, you know, should have been done um uh, still uh, I, I was uh, looking at Fabrizio Romano uh, and his tweets yesterday and he was saying that right now Arsenal are leading Bayern in the race to sign uh, Declan Rice like we've seen from CBS Sports he wants to stay in London his family akin to you know akin to, to, to settle in London uh, in the capital and he's, he views the move as easier okay so th there is no any interest from him to sign for Bayern unless otherwise Arsenal still have the upper hand for the Declan Rice deal okay um very very positive for Arsenal fans very positive for anyone who is following this story because it looks like Rice has chosen Arsenal over Bayern over Manchester United when a player wants to play for you when a player decides that you're their final destination it just makes things easier you look at how McAllister signed for uh, Liverpool there's so many clubs that could have signed Alexis McAllister but he just chose Liverpool and ever since that moment everything became clear and very very easy it's the same thing with uh Jude Bellingham decided I will go to Real Madrid not Liverpool not any other side and since then clubs have been locked in talks yesterday it was confirmed that um it's gonna be 103 million euros guaranteed of fixed payments done the deal is done so i expect this one to be an easy deal now that declan rice has decided to play and sign for arsenal other than Bayern and manchester united now let's talk about thomas Partey and um the big story from again cbs and james bank uh he's been like you know roaming the press the, the place with uh you know very very uh concrete reports uh in this early morning so uh james bank says that arsenal's thomas Partey could be leaving and he says cbs sports sources have indicated that there is no um that so far there, there has been no intention and dialogue about extending thomas Partey's deal who has two years left on his contract uh, uh the player himself uh, uh favors staying in england and in london as well rather than exploring romad interest in italy okay so that is up uh, you know james bank and cbs sports 
talking about Thomas Partey. Now, we have mixed reactions on Thomas Partey, I understand. But not to the extent of viewing him as a liability, not to the extent of viewing him as a player who should leave Arsenal this summer, next summer, or the summer before that. You look at this Arsenal side, and how many players do give us that little bit of physicality? It's maybe why, why I, I, would, I would definitely die for Declan Rice. The physicality, right? He's one of those tall, huge center, you know, central midfielders that, uh, you know, he just reminds me of Saj Milikov Savic at Lazio. Um, the difference is that Saj Milikov Savic really scores a lot of goals and creates a lot of chances, okay? Uh, but... You know, you look at Sarge, you look at Declan, you look at Thomas Partey, the physicality is going to be a very key element um, for Arsenal, especially at the level with, that we are on now, UEFA Champions League. Uh, I still remember Arsenal's, uh, you know, uh, St. Wenger's Arsenal being bullied by clubs like Olympiacos, who had these, you know, huge players in midfield. And we've always, you know, talked about the fact that maybe Arsenal needs to become a little bit more physical. And the Premier League is a physical league, but I don't think Arsenal are physical right now. Thomas Partey, on top of physicality, for me, he's one of the players that have mastered the art of a single pivot, a single midfielder sitting at the base of a midfield and making things look easy, making things run, fluid, uh, you know, making things ticking. I don't know whether we are being blinded by Gino coming in. I don't know whether it's the injuries that are causing problems. I don't know whether it's the, it's the inconsistency in performance that we saw last campaign, especially towards the end. I really do not understand, okay? But Thomas Patton leaving Arsenal, it is too harsh. It is very, very harsh. Uh, I, I, I feel uh, he will feel betrayed. And I also feel like uh, we will have been unfair if we let him go. Now, there is interest from Inter Milan, from AC Milan, from a couple of other clubs in um, and Italy, also Juventus as well, uh, presumably. But this is what I'm going to say. I think he won't sign a new deal this summer. Arsenal will wait to see if he can have a much better season next season with lesser injuries and more consistent performances and if you can hit those levels if you can hit those um you know heights that you know Michelata believes that he can then definitely will sign a new deal i don't see thomas party leave arsenal um I, I was a little bit worried with all this saga of uh, the police and uh, the ex lava accusing him of one or two ac you know, accusations here but it looks like thomas party is clear of that okay and to be clear, his performances this season have been really outstanding for the better part of the season. Maybe when he picked up injuries when we needed him, and maybe when we, um, maybe when he uh, dropped off in performance, especially in the last ten games, last ten um, eight games of the campaign. But Thomas Partey leaving Arsenal, that is a decision I wouldn't understand. Now, left with two years, why he has not signed a new deal? Uh, I would understand. There is William Saliba who has not signed a new deal. Uh, he's running into his final year, right? I understand that. Uh, the, f the, the former pressing issues at Arsenal, like fighting for Declan Rice, fighting for uh, William Saliba, then fighting for Thomas Partey. Partey is an Arsenal diehard. Partey is a player that I think is, is more like the Martinelli kind of guy. You just call him up and tell him, we're giving you 200000 per week. Um, three more years. And he will sign it. Uh, but I've also been thinking about this. And, I'm, and, 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 and I've got the idea that if Arsenal are thinking of bringing in a player like Moises Caicedo, 70, 80 million, Thomas Partey is one of the you know, highest earners at the club. Um, I think he's close to 170000 per week. What if Arsenal is thinking of reducing the wage bill by bringing a player who, like Moises Kaiser, who's going to earn like 100,000 per week, that is 70,000 less, and you know, replacing Thomas Party with a more durable player? I think they, that could also be a possibility. But hey, I want to take this slowly, I want to take this very, very slowly. Let's wait and see. Now, according to Eduardo Hagen, 
Arsenal are interested uh, in Kai Havas. This is a story that has been broken uh, this early morning in the last two hours. Um, and it says the next Arsenal target is Kai Havas. Arsenal well, well really wants him. Uh, to my knowledge, they haven't formally proposed anything to Chelsea yet, um, as they are more working on the player side of things. Um, so let's watch the space. That is um, uh, Eduardo Hagan also quoting Alex Goldberg. So... Kai Havertz is a very interesting player. And of course, we know Arsenal will try to sign a forward this summer. Arsenal will try to sign uh, a, a player on the forward line. And Kai Havertz is such a very interesting player. Can play on the right. Can play on the left wing. Very good as a number 10. And he's played as a false nine before uh, for Chelsea. A place and a position where I think he's been absolutely under underwhelming. Okay, I think underwhelming is the word you could use for any Chelsea player, but Kai Havertz as a false nine, he's been short of expectation. Now, Arsenal going in for Kai Havertz would be a good signing, in my opinion. I think there is a good player in there, right? Uh, his time at Balevacuzen just guarantees that there is a player in there, but the way you use him. Is what matters if we're trying to sign him to play him where Jacques has been playing in that more advanced role um, like he's that second number eight but in a more advanced role he's going to get into the penalty area more he's gonna be getting chances more creating chances more sign him and sign him right now okay but if you're signing him to use him as a false nine please Javi Simons is, is, is the better option there, okay? Um, but I, I, what, I like about, what I like about Kai Havers is that um, you know, he's got the eye for goal, can be a good creator, um, you know, plays with the right foot, plays with the left foot as well, intelligent footballer, he's got the speed, he's got the pace, um, and uh, he's pl Premier League proven right now. And Chelsea will sell him for less than £70 million. Pounds. They will be looking for around 60 um, 65 million euros, all right? That's around £55 million. Pounds. So, Kai Havas is an interesting shot. I don't want to talk much about him because this is not yet very, very solid. But if Arsenal want him, I wouldn't really have a problem with him signing. I wouldn't really have a problem, like, to be honest.